Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another breakdown of the Tom Landry Legendary Coach Playbook. This is going to be Shotgun, uh, the first Legendary Playbook that actually has a shotgun that I can use uh, that is similar to a modern NFL. This is a spread for wide receivers. What I like about this particular formation uh, is this middle screen. Uh, middle screen is not something that's very common uh, to see, uh, and it's actually going to uh, is going to give your opponent a really different different look to go against especially in like a, a third and long situation because you're going to be able to go ahead uh, and uh, effectively go against a person who uses a lot of fag coverage against you so let's take a look at the other audibles all right so the other audibles it comes with a standard slants middle so you can use your slants concept in either side of the field uh, uh, base audible run is going to be a uh, halfback uh, sweep and then you have uh, four verticals which is good you could basically hit the seams uh, against your opponent and then you have a uh, play action deep comeback route so that's kind of nice because you can actually go do levels against your opponent uh, as far as uh, a base run that you could probably come out of is either a draw or you might want to go ahead and hit a counter against your opponent uh, just so you can keep them honest. But for the most part, I'm just going to leave uh, pretty much uh, all those plays uh, as is. I'm not going to go ahead and tackle them anything else because I have the ability to go ahead and hit the outside like I want against my opponent with that middle screen play. So let's go ahead and break down um, the running game and then we'll go into middle screen as my, as my base play. All right, so you come stock with the halfback sweep. Uh, so really the only sensible play uh, to complement that would be the halfback counter. Um, and it really you have to count the box. You've got basically four blockers for three defenders. Uh, be able to get control of the wide running back. Just do a quick little spin move before they, once the ball gets snapped, go ahead and cut it up for easy. Now, if your opponent starts uh, picking up your tendencies and using the counter, you can always go ahead and do the sweep play and a nice uh, little double team to be able to pick up some pretty easy yards, four or five yards right there. All right, so one of, one of your standard audibles is going to be slants middle. So what you can do is you can go ahead and streak up uh, both your inside wide receivers, uh, and that's actually going to go ahead and take care of those streak, uh, streak slant concepts. Easy reads, easy throws, can pick up easy yards against any kind of zone coverage uh, that your opponent might be throwing against you. So as you can see right here, you're able to go ahead and pick up a good 10 yards right there at a bad throw. All right, so the next play is going to be the four verticals play. And uh, what I like to do with four verticals is first and uh, foremost, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my running back and put him in an option route just because he gets better um, uh, release on that. Now, uh, on four verticals too, I want to go ahead and have a deep comeback route because that means I'm going to have a deep man beater. Um, and really what I'm going to do is if I can go ahead and hit the man beater, I'm going to go ahead and use that with Bryant to pick up some pretty easy yards with the man I. Uh, the running back generally will fall into a nice little zone if it's some kind of a blitz. So that's a reason why I actually do that. And if my opponent puts some kind of holes in the coverages, basically I'm going to go ahead and hit him in the middle uh, with those uh, vertical routes. Uh, he's just going to—he can't necessarily go ahead and give me. Uh, he can't defend underneath if I've, if I've got those verticals coming. If you're efficient enough with, with verticals, it can be a huge headache for your opponent to defend against just because you're hitting different areas of the field that can't stop. All right, so the last play we're going to look at in the audibles is going to be the play action comeback. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take Brian and put him on a drag route. And that's going to give me a levels concept across the middle and also tell me whether it's going to be man coverage or not. Now, if my defender over Brian actually follows me, I know that I'm going to have pretty much one-on-one -on -one zone uh, man coverage on the backside so I can actually hit that deep comeback route. Um, also, um, if it is... Uh, if, if the defender lets him go, then I have a level, levels concept over the middle, and I pretty much have my pick whether I'm going to hit Bryant, Harris, or actually Beasley uh, over the middle. So uh, it really is going to be that release. So this is zone coverage, and as you can see right here, I'm able to go ahead and hit easily for a huge big gain of about 25 yards. Now it looks like it's going to be man coverage, and the defender actually follows. I've got the deep comeback route, pick up an easy good 30 yards right there. Off coverage, no one shows up. I've got the high low, take the high, 
and be able to pick up an easy 10 yards. So that's basically a focusing on the left side of the field um, just to go ahead and keep my opponent uh, honest uh, with this particular concept. Once again, I got the deep comeback route, be able to pick up easy yards. Now, one of the plays that really has me enamored with this formation really is this middle screen. I like this because it's got complemented uh, inside um, uh, basically corner routes, and then I have this middle screen going on. I'm going to basically do a couple of adjustments here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that streak by Brian and put him on a slant so I've got a little bit more depth. I'm going to take Williams and put him on a drag route. Now, my read is going to be the following. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Williams. I'm going to see if my defender of Williams follows him. If he does, that means Beasley is going to be naked on the corner route where I can pick up a good 20 yards from that. If, there, if it falls back into zone coverage, which is most likely going to happen, basically what's going to happen, I'm going to be able to check down to either Williams or Murray, uh, and then that means I'm going to have a whole bunch of blockers for me over the middle to pick up some CZ yards. So this is zone. I got Murray, and as you can see right there, I had a bunch of blockers taking me up to the next level. All right, so I'm going to run this play a couple times just so you can see how unique blocking uh, this works with this play. As you can see, naked on the corner, able to go ahead and pick up almost a touchdown on that play by the angle. So we got off coverage right here, and let's go ahead and see. And as you can see right here, able to go ahead and go over the middle. And look at all the blockers are picking up people in the middle. So most opponents are not going to be expecting uh, screens over the middle. This is going to be such a unique play that your opponent is not going to be used to screens. They're usually used to defending screens off to the right or to the left. Uh, that's what's great about this play. Uh, is that you basically have these screens going in the middle like that and you can pick up easy yards up the middle and have blockers up the middle uh, just to cause him fits. And once again that corner against bad coverage is just going to eat it up. As you can see right there, still able to go ahead and check down. I was throwing to the wide receiver more, uh, primarily because uh, it just seems like he gets an easier release. He's not going to be around any kind of defenders, uh, and it's going to allow me to go ahead and hit the running back. So that's just another thing that you can you can, can throw into your game plan that I really like about this particular play. Uh, it's just because it just hits uh, in unique areas like that uh, with the running back, and you can pick up some pretty easy yards if your opponent goes into some fag days. So. I hope you like this scheme. I'm going to be running running with this scheme, and I'll be sprinkling in some other plays that have broken down in the last month or so uh, with this scheme. Uh, if you do like this stuff, hit the like button. If you have any comments or any suggestions on what you would do with this scheme, please comment. I love the feedback. Uh, our, our viewers, uh, everybody that views these videos can you actually gain from it. So I really appreciate your support. And uh, hit like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, until next time.